Hello everybody, this is Terrence Pop from Redonkulous.com and today we're talking about vitamin V. V <laughs> is for Viagra, <laughs> not the veg. Because I got an email in regards to penis pills. You're a little lightheaded and stuff, but not that I know about that or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that I started getting those emails right around 32. A double action Jackson. <laughs> Just like life insurance, there's a table out there for penis function. I just want you to know what's going on out there, that you are on somebody's list, they have your date of birth, and you're now a crosshair and somebody's scope to sell you some medication. When you read an email about a penis pill, and it sounds like Borat, he's nice penis working, eh? <laughs> Hard penis make good sexy time, what? <laughs> penis like baby head. I was like, what the <laughs> hell is that? How'd we get to baby's head? A baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> With that being said, let us begin. I came up with the following table. 16 to 18, guys are all about the penis. I know it sounds kind of gay, but it's true. <laughs> you think about it all day. The wind blows, boom. It's all you care about is just banging chicks. That there's no reciprocation, that's it. You know how you got the angel and the devil on your shoulder telling you what to do? When you're 16 to 18, it's two peg D's and they're just screaming in your ears, giving you commands of stuff they want you to do. But you don't get to do any of those things. You just kind of go home and spank it in the basement. That's why the porn industry is doing so well. Yeah, and ever since the smartphone, <laughs> porn on the go. Incest porn? <laughs> is that even a real thing? The fuck? We could have the library of uh, Congress at our fingertips, but no, no, it's DP, you know? And then between 18 and 20, you're with a woman and you're gonna get to talk. Be careful what you're doing. Hey, the penis is good, the peg is great, but we like the little slot A. If you can detect stank south of eight mile, it's over. So you change your game up and you go 90, 10. Right around 30, 31, right in there, things start to change. Curve, it's very subtle, it comes on. You're operating at 80%. At 80, 20, you're still, you're still pretty good. You know, in 36 to 40, in this time range, you realize you're 70, 30. You notice it, it's not what it used to be. It still works and everything, but it's, it's not 100%. You're like, what the hell? 41 to 50, somewhere in this time bracket, you're gonna find yourself 60, 40. You, you definitely notice this. Ah! Sometimes you maybe can't get up to run the flag all the way up the flagpole, you know what I'm saying? It happens. Not that I would know or anything. 51 to 60, you're now 50, 50. Okay, now it's a problem. I, I don't think they are applying girth the way we apply girth. 60 to 65, you're 40, 60. <laughs> you got a big problem. You're mainly slot A guy. You're no longer the peg D guy. 66 to 75, 30, 70. Way. <laughs> and you're like, wow, uh, I need to get some, you know, penis pills. Okay. When you talk about the penis pills, there's some out there that, you know, they claim that you can grow a bigger penis. No. I guess size matters to a point. But after a while, it might become a detractor. Maybe she had paritis. Yeah. It's called elephantitis. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> you're gonna take that shit home, is what you're gonna do. You're not doing nothing here. With a baby head penis? No. That's just way too big. That's what she said. <laughs> they do work. They work pretty good. Not that I would know or anything. These are the three main prescriptions that are out there. Cialis, Viagra, and Levitra. See, I also give you a bump of 20%. This one lasts 48 hours. Take it on a Friday, it's good all the way to like the end of Sunday. It goes down, it comes back up. Now Viagra will give you 40%, but it's only good between four and six, seven hours-ish. I'm like, wow! And the Levitra, it's not quite as good as Viagra, but it lasts a little bit longer, and it'll give you a 35% bump. <laughs> there is nothing natural <laughs> about seeing a 70-year-old man. <laughs> with a 20 year old Peg D standing at attention for four hours. Ah! That's something I don't wanna see. These are two scenarios I have right here. Say you're a 51 year old dude. You're operating at 50-50. Go get yourself some Viagra, add the 40% to the 50%. You're now operating for that session with a 20 to 29 year old Peg D. Winning every time, that's awesome. He's nice penis working, eh? But it only lasts, you know, four to six hours. So do what you gotta do and get it done. Oh, I'll pull out. 
Yeah. So say you're a 68 year old dude and you're working at, you know, 70, 30. You can't get your hands on the good stuff, but you get your hands on some Cialis. You take it, you're good for 48 hours, but the best you'll be is 50%. You wanna go to a movie? Put my penis in the popcorn. <laughs> What, what they don't know, this is the danger part. Like if you're only like 30 to 35 yeah. and you're throwing down Viagra, you're, you're going up to 120%. <laughs> That's bad. You're gonna wind up in the emergency room and they'll stick in a, a needle in your junk to drain it. It's all fun and games. So I, they pull out a needle and walk at you with an erect penis. And you're like, oh! <laughs> so you don't wanna mess with any of this stuff, anything, you know, Anything before here. Actually, I had a friend of mine that had that done, and he uh, he told me it was not pleasant. Needle in the wiener. Bad news bears, baby. You don't want none of that. You better be careful what you wish for. You want to be John Holmes, you might wind up John Holmes in the emergency room. Gonorrhea! No. <laughs> this is my theory on the vitamin V. <laughs> yes, I know. I think about this stuff because I don't sleep, but it's entertaining. If you really think about it, they really aren't penis pills. They're irony pills. Because who's walking around with the big hard peg D's? <laughs> the impotent dudes. <laughs> I'm just sitting here with my regular peg D and you dudes out there. <laughs> winning? No. <laughs> All you people out there, I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, liberal, conservative, black, white, yellow, or green. Listen. And this is on a serious note. If you're out there bitching about welfare and all the irresponsibility that's going on, then they're pretty much sure we should have the government cover birth control because they're already covering penis pills. In the end, everyone wins. We pay less money and it is what it is.